means that the pattern continues as previously established. established. So one way you can give someone a sequence is to list out a bunch of them and you should be able to take from there and write the next five terms. So if the pattern's been established decently, that's not a problem. But we have other ways to tell people about sequences. Sometimes what we do is we give them a description of the nth term. And we use little set braces around it. <clears throat> we use subscripts to help us distinguish the first term, second term, third term. But you can get the terms themselves by substituting the subscript into the formula. So for example, a sub 1 here is 3 plus negative 1 to the first, which would give us 2. two. <laughs> and a sub 2 <laughs> would be 3 plus negative 1 squared, which would be 4. four. And a sub 3, she was like, oh, was like, 3 plus negative 1 cubed, 2. And now I hope you're saying I'm bored already. Can't you just list out the next two terms for me? Okay, so we know that this thing really was 2, 4, 2, 4, dot, dot, dot. The homework has some problems that say, write the first five terms of the sequence. So, oh, I only wrote four. Let me make one more. Okay. And for those of you that like your calculators. Go into the mode. Arrow down to the fourth line. We usually work in function mode. I want you to arrow down sequence. and over to SEQ for sequence. And now we can go into, darn it, I've forgotten. I can get it out of my catalog, but it's someplace else also. Uh, let, me, let me try one. Huh. And it's looking for uh, an alphanumeric character. So if you go down to the S's and find SEQ, SEQ, press enter. And we'll put in our little formula, which was 3 plus parentheses negative 1 to the N. Comma n comma one comma five. If you just wanted the first five terms. Can you place n and five? Uh, once you go into sequence, oh, it, sets it, it, as it does it itself. Okay. See that that's the fourth letter over. Like, so x is for function? functions, t is for parametric, theta is for whatever that third one is, and then n is for the sequences. Polar. A polar. Thank you. Did you find it? Yeah. How do you do that faster? You have to do comma, and then n. No, you're, okay, and then n again. Just like when we integrate, you have to tell it what the variable is. So it's comma, n, comma, then what number you want to start with. Let me see the set up. So for the first five, it's just N one five. Two.